So linking problems and incidents. Let's set the stage. Um, so this is an well, active Zendesk environment where we currently experience two issues um, in our company. So one is we are experiencing uh, shipment delays. So meaning packages are arriving late, customers are complaining. And the second issue that's going on is that they can't log in. So we also have an issue there. Now in any normal Zendesk flow, if you've been using Zendesk for a while and you're using the problem incident flow, what will happen is a new ticket will arrive in your inbox. The agent will read it. Okay, this is related to the delay. Then they will create an incident. They will go to the list, go to the incident list, say shipping delays, and then assign the ticket to that incident so that when they go to the incident, that even though the issue is there, all the incidents are linked. And that then any update we push to the customers will automatically be sent to all of them um, instead of going one by one through all the tickets. Such a problem ticket is very useful because you also have the option to link, uh, for example, the status report. So you can have an article in your help center that explains what's going on with updates, meaning any customer that sends out an incoming request about, hey, something is wrong with my package, will first see this article. They'll hopefully know you are aware and maybe don't create a ticket or subscribe to this article. But anyway, we have a way to deflect. The downside of this approach is that for each ticket that comes in, an agent needs to read the ticket only go to the problem, link it, rinse and repeat. This causes one a repeatable step that takes a lot of time away from the customer. But secondly, um, it also takes time away from other tickets, other customers with other unrelated problems, which also need to be resupplied to in time. A way to fix this is by the thing we we're explaining in our article. So imagine a customer going to your support help center saying, okay, I have a problem, my name, and then we ask the customer, hey, what is your experiencing? Well, I have a shipment delay package. I haven't arrived yet. Naturally, you automatically promote or send um, a few articles. Um, depending on how well your answer bot is trained or how many customers read the article, uh, we will automatically suggest the uh, right article. They'll send in the message. They can read the article if they want to, and then we submit a ticket. So this way, customers link it in. Now, normally, if you look at this, the nice thing would be, hey, we created a new ticket, and this ticket has um, the right tag and category. But what we do automatically is if we go to the list, this ticket will now be automatically assigned to the right um, problem without any agent interaction. So you see my ticket from a minute ago, is automatically assigned. The nice thing with the flow we're explaining in the article is that in traditional form, you would create a trigger for each problem and then manually create the problem incident relationship for each ticket, which is a lot of work. Um, this article will show you how to do it with one trigger that automatically updates. So no manual repeating of triggers, less admin work and a very quick way to turn incidents and problems into related tickets um, which means you can automatically solve everything in your list. So go read the article and well, hopefully you won't need it. If you do need it, uh, this can help you.